So Elon Musk and his boring company are doing God's work. Uh, their invention, the innovative loop, is going to define cities and city planning for decades, perhaps centuries to come. I mean, moving people fast in tunnels from point A to point B, it's an unheard of concept. I mean, no one has thought about this before, obviously. But unfortunately, Elon Musk seems to have run into uh, some difficulties with the loop cons uh, loop's construction, which resulted in two major scale downs of the concept. At first, it was imagined as a 200 miles per hour uh, guide wheel system where cars uh, go on sleds, uh, also these pods, which have their own wheels. And then this was scaled down, I guess, to the uh, guidance system, to this guide wheel uh, solution, which unfortunately for some reason also didn't work out. Honestly, I have no idea why. Uh, perhaps this uh, guide wheel system is presently too advanced for human civilization to accomplish. And so we are at the paved tunnel concept, uh, presented to us in a flashy, boring company video. And here I have to stop and say, Elon, wait. I have figured something out here, yeah, that's right, I'm gonna fix your loop, buddy. I have a big brain just like you, so let's unify our brain capacities to work something out here, okay? Alright, so I think you need to go back to the guide wheel system, because the paving, um, you know, paving a tunnel and then running regular cars in it uh, at high speeds uh, brings with it the problem of high tire wear, which will significantly drive up maintenance costs, uh, and it will be generally an inconvenience, which we don't want. So instead, let's stick with the guideways, I would say. I can see that the sleds and the pods have their own wheels, and they're uh, kind of like guided on one rail, but I have a better idea. How about we have a double innovative reinforced steel and concrete uh, uh, high-tech guideway to guide the pods and instead of having uh, rubber wheels on them we can put steel wheels on them so they can actually glide on these high-tech dual steel guideways. Steel is much more durable and will be able to achieve much smoother rides at uh, much lower maintenance costs. And so now let's talk about the uh, layout of the whole system. Elon, you have proposed a lot of small elevators all over the city, but I would say within the cities there are distinct areas where people, a lot of people want to go. So I say let's try and concentrate the exits in these areas. Now the car elevators are a very nice idea, however, those are multiple, multiple points of failure on your system, meaning more uh, chance for mistakes, breakdowns, etc. So what if we didn't actually bring the vehicle to the surface, but we take the people down on these AI-controlled, automated, self-moving uh, hyperstairs, I call them. Alright, so now people are being whisked down to high-tech passenger pods in these cluster stations on the hyperstairs. So this is already very good and very high-tech. Uh, however, there is one last thing that I don't like. It's that every single pod has its own uh, engine and uh, all the machinery associated with it. So why don't we uh, connect the pods into one hyperpod that has one or two big, big engines, uh, which is a much better economy of scale. Also, I would advise building the first loop systems in very congested, sort of very high demand areas. This would be the easiest solution, to take an area where a lot of people want to go from one definite area to another definite area. Meaning that our long hyperpods could go back and forth uh, the whole day or just in one pair of tunnels instead of having like 10, 12, 30. And on this congested, high demand fixed route, they could thus transport a shit ton of people. And for added comfort and for more futuristic interior design, we could have the pods making up the hyperpod connect into each other physically so that you can walk from one end into the other like a big pipe. And since this is a fixed route, uh, instead of batteries, we could have a third rail where the whole machinery could uh, draw power from. I came up with this all by myself, inspired by Elon's genius. I call it the Epic 420 Thanos Keanu Reeves Ultraline. Now you might be asking, hang on a second, where are the private cars in this system? I mean, we have the pods, but where do our Teslas and other electric cars fit in? And I am very glad you asked. In major cities, in very congested areas, space is at a premium. We simply cannot afford to uh, bring everyone's cars in, so why not leave the car on the outskirts in a big, convenient, mega parking lot right next to the station? From the parking lot, you could be transported down to the station in immense comfort on the aforementioned AI-controlled auto stairs. And if your destination is not near a loop station, the aforementioned stairs could take you up to the surface, where you could transition in extreme comfort to a surface pod. These surface pods have rubber wheels, four of them, or even more, perhaps, and are designed to transport you to destinations which are a bit more farther away from tunnels. 
Uh, hell, we could even put these uh, dual reinforced steel hyper guideways on the streets, maybe sink them even in the asphalt so they're passable, and uh, hook multiple uh, pods together and so that they can travel on the streets in dedicated lanes. That way we achieve a smooth and fast ride and we don't even have to tunnel. And here's the best part. Once the system grows dense enough, you don't even need a personal car anymore. And isn't that just awesome? No more sitting in traffic jams, no more driving around looking for parking lots, the system will just take you from point A to point B without having to drag two tons of metal and plastic with you. Which would be of course your personal car. So yeah, uh, Elon, call me. I'm open for investment proposals. Uh, I'm ready to share in your wealth. And I am ready to receive sponsorship money and uh, interview requests from major news organizations, the very knowledgeable tech magazines that treated the loop and the hyperloop as like actually viable ideas. So yeah, I'm, I'm a genius, I guess. So call me. <laughs> Holy fucking shit.